Here you are asked to calculate the all-in price amount of bond A when it trades on the 30th of March 2008. Now, when you have to calculate the all-in price of a bond, you always have to do four things. First thing you have to do is you have to decide whether this bond trades cum interest or X interest. The second thing you have to do is you have to calculate the accrued interest. The third thing you have to do is you have to calculate the claim price. And then the last thing you have to do is using the clean price amount that you calculated and the accrued interest, you have to calculate the all-in price. So now we're going to look at number one, whether this bond will trade cum interest or X interest on City March 2008. Now the register closing date for bond A is 30 November going to write it down here, 30 November and 31st of May. Those are the register closing dates. So if this bond trades on 30 March 2008, what would be the previous coupon payment date? The previous coupon payment date would then be the 30th of November 2007. So 30 November 2007. And the next coupon payment date will be 31st of May 2008. The register closes one month before the coupon payment date. So the register closing date preceding the next coupon payment date will be 30 April 2008. Right, and the transaction date um, therefore falls before the register closing date, the 30th of March 2008. So, to decide whether this bond trades cum interest or X interest, we have to look at who owned this bond on the register closing date. Now, on the register closing date, this date, the bond had already traded, so it belongs to the buyer. So, we will receive the full coupon, that is from the 30th of November 2007 until the 31st of May 2008. The buyer, because it belonged to him, on the register closing date. But that's not quite fair, because from the previous coupon payment date until the transaction date it belonged to the seller. So from 30th of November 2007 until 30th of March 2008, the transaction date, it belonged to the seller. And therefore, the seller has to be compensated for this period from 30th of November 2007 until the 30th of March 2008. And in the question, it is indicated that the, that the number of days is 120 days. So, the seller has to be compensated for accrued interest for 120 days. Now how will the seller be compensated? We will add the accrued interest that he has to receive to the clean price. So to calculate the all in price, the clean pr price plus accrued interest has to be added together so this bond will trade cum interest. Therefore we have done the first thing, we have decided 
that this bond is going to trade cum interest. We've done part one. We've decided that this bond is going to trade cum interest on the 30th of March 2008. So now we have to do step number two. We have to calculate the accrued interest. Right, now the formula to calculate the accrued interest amount is this one. Accrued interest amount is equal to the principal times the coupon rate per annum times D, the number of days, which is 120 days, divided by 365. So I'm going to rewrite that formula. The accrued interest amount is equal to the principal times the coupon rate per annum times D divided by 365. So the principal of bond A is 25 million. The coupon rate is 5%, so 0, 0, 0,05, and the number of days is this 120 days for which we have to calculate accrued interest. So it's 120 divided by 365. And that will give you, you have to use a calculator to calculate that, 25 million times 0, 0, 0,05 times 120 divided by 365 and that is going to give you accrued interest for this period of 410,959 Rand. So we've completed step 1 and step 2. Now we have to calculate the clean price amount. Now to calculate the clean price amount, you have to multiply the principal by the clean price, which is provided in the question, and it is 98,5 rand per cent. So the principal is 25 million. And the clean price is 98,5 rand per cent, so 0, 0,985. If you do that calculation using your calculator, 25 million times 0, 0,985, that is going to give you 24,620,000. That is the clean price amount, so we've done step number three. So all that remains is to do step number four, calculate the all-in price amount. Now, to calculate the all-in price, there are two, two formulas, one for the when the bond trades cum interest and one for when the bond trades X interest. Now, in this case, we've decided that this bond is going to trade cum interest so we have to use this formula. All in price, if the bond trades cum interest, is equal to the clean price plus the accrued interest. So we have to say all in price is equal to the clean price plus the accrued interest that we've calculated in number two. The clean price amount we calculated here 24,625,000. The accrued interest amount 410,959. If you add those two together, all in price is going to be equal to 25 million. 
25,959. So now we've completed step number four as well. The all-in price of bond A when it trades on the 30th of March 2008 at a price of 98,5 rand percent is 25,065,959 rand.